Welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm Shannon. This is a live recorded class, so I have my guests today. Welcome, Tay, Nan, and Fern. If you're watching this as a recording, I welcome you anytime. So we stay in the chair the whole time, but we'll move around as much as we can, but stay firmly planted so you feel safe, you won't fall. And if you are in any kind of chair, it's fine, but I would love for you to try to have a chair that doesn't have sides. But if you have sides, don't worry about it. It'll work just as well. All right, sit back in your chair. Get comfortable, so wiggle around a little bit. Feel your feet on the floor and lay your hands on your legs. And the reason I have you do that is so that maybe you soften your shoulders a little bit, find a little bit of distance between your ears and your shoulders. And then even here, we can sit up nice and tall. So maybe not slouch into the chair, but feel the chair behind you, the seat beneath you, the floor under your feet, but be in control. Close your eyes if it feels comfortable for you to maybe close your eyes and feel your body, your body in space. Feel the temperature of the room and the way it touches your skin. And there's a way we could try to breathe in yoga. Taking a breath in through your nose and maybe releasing out through your nose. Sweeping a breath in through your nose, long, deep, slow. Exhaling out through your nose completely. Try that a few times, breathe in. Exhale out. Breathe in and exhale out. Now bring your palms together. Lift your palms to your chest. We use this form of a mudra hand in many ways. Typically we think of it as prayer hands. Take a few breaths here, eyes closed or a soft gaze and notice where your thoughts are. Never asking you to close the thoughts that move in, but maybe let your thoughts move in and slowly out so that you feel a clear mind, an open mind. Maybe even noticing your mood. Embracing this time. Let's breathe together, inhale. This time, exhale through your mouth. And we'll chant Om. You can listen or join. Oh. Bow your head towards your heart and release your hands to your legs. Slowly open your eyes and lift your gaze. I thank you so much for being here. Okay, move up to the top of your chair a little bit, just so that you have a little bit of space behind you, space beside you and in front of you. And you're just gonna start to move in a fluid way. So I'm gonna mirror you, so it should look like I'm using the same limb as you. Lift your right arm, and I just want you to shake it out a little bit. So it's just skin, let it wiggle, jiggle. And even find a little vibration coming through your right arm. Keep everything else still, just focus. And then start to slow it down a little bit and start to turn your arm 
up and down. And I want you to feel it all the way up in your shoulder head. And I know you'll be careful if you've had any shoulder surgeries. So start to move your palm up and down. I said that very Southern, didn't I? Down. And then just start to sweep your right arm out to the side. If you've got a friend next to you, just make sure you don't whack them in the face. Turn up and down. So we're not just moving our hand and our wrist, but we're moving our arm. And it'll get a little bit tiring, a little bit warm. And then move it back into the front. I want you to jiggle it again. Can you see that? We got jiggling skin. Proud of it. Proud of all of it. And then just release your arm down and rest for a moment. And just feel the sensations, the warming up the way the right arm feels more active than the left. Okay, let's do it on the other side. Try to jiggle your arm all the way up to your shoulder head, move it, wake it up. Even that gets tiring, huh? And then slow down a little bit. So go from that fast kind of jiggle movement to a more controlled turn internally and externally rotating. Keep your right side soft. You already worked the right side. And then come out to the side. You should feel this all the way up in your shoulder head. You might even hear some pops and cracks. One of my students said one time, it sounds like popcorn popping. Now do this till you start to get a little bit fatigued, a little bit tired. And then bring it back into the front and jiggle again. This is my non-dominant arm, so it feels awkward. This may be your non-dominant arm. And then just rest. Lay your hands, spread your fingers wide, spread out your palms and lay your palms on your legs and sit up nice and tall. All right. I'm gonna do a little bit in the same way we did in the arms and the legs. So I want you to just jiggle your right leg. Jiggle out through your toes. Bounce it. You can keep your thigh on the chair. You don't have to lift it all the way up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle in your right leg. And then still your leg and point and flex your foot. So it can be down on the floor. You don't have to pick your foot up all the way, but point and flex. And be dramatic about it. I want you to feel it up in your calf muscle. Draw your toenails towards you and then stretch out through the top of your foot. And you might feel some contraction up in your quadriceps if you keep your foot lifted off the floor. And then place your foot back down. Left foot up, jiggle. Wiggle it out. Feel the skin around your calf muscle, ankle, and toes, and then begin to point and flex. You can hold onto your chair if you need to to keep your foot off the floor. Even this small amount of work, just working one limb at a time, you'll feel it. Point and flex. And release your foot to the floor. And just be still for a moment. You may have start waking up your hips a little bit. All right, hands out in front. Show me your palms like you're saying stop. So I want you to feel like even your wrists are resting on, say, a cabinet or a bar. Push your heels of your hands down into that imaginary table, bar, whatever you can picture, and spread your fingers wide. And then we're gonna wrap our thumbs in, index fingers, middle fingers, ring fingers, and pinky fingers and make a fist. And then turn your thumbs up. Even though they're wrapped in, turn them up. So the inside of your wrists are facing each other. Now I'm gonna just turn so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm pushing out through my thumbs. So it's just a little bit of movement, reaching out. 
inside of your wrists facing each other. Draw in and out. So it's like the way you flexed your feet, you're flexing through your wrists. Now, turn your knuckles down so that your fingers are pointing down towards the floor and like you're revving an engine, if you've ever driven a motorcycle or would you say if you've ever been on a motorcycle, I want you to flex, extend, extend and release. Ooh, take them out to the sides. It'll be a little bit harder and a little bit more fatiguing. Flex and extend. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot. Come back to the front and let's release pinkies, ring fingers, middle fingers, index fingers, thumbs, and stretch your fingers wide. Last one here, show me your nails. Show me your fingernails, fingers pointing down, tops of your wrist drawing out. Two of the ladies taking the live class today said they've been playing cards. So we're getting their hands ready for their card playing today. And relax, Ooh, relax and roll your shoulders. So a little bit more shoulder work today than maybe say the legs that we did last week for those of you that have been participating. All right, this one's gonna work with the brain a little bit. I love it, I think it's fun, it makes me giggle. So bring your hands out in front and clap. All right, I'm gonna mirror y'all, so I should be doing the same thing you're doing. I want you to bring your right arm up and your left arm down. And then sweep your arms out to the sides and bring your left arm up and your right arm down. Bring them back together and clap. We're gonna do the same again. Right arm up, left arm down. Try to roll them like you're making a circle or the shape of a cone. Now your left arm's up, your right arm's down, and clap. We're gonna do it again. Right arm up, left arm down. Sweep them, try to bring them out to the sides. Switch and clap. Rest for a moment. Ooh, I feel it in my arms. All right, we're gonna switch, clap. Left arm up, right arm down. Try to make that cone shape with your hand so it's not necessarily a circle, but you're drawing and clap. Left arm up, right arm down, big circles out to the sides, up and clap. One more, left arm up, right arm down, out to the sides, switch, big movement in your shoulder joints, and relax. Whew. Let's take two breaths in and out. Inhale, exhale through the nose. Keep your lips lightly pursed together. Inhale, exhale through your nose. Okay. Tap your fingertips to your shoulders and lift your elbows up. Now, just go with whatever distance you can bring them together. Maybe they tap, maybe they don't. Don't worry about it, but bring them towards each other. We're gonna do the same thing we just did. Right elbow up, left elbow down, make the big circles, elbows back together. Right elbow up, left elbow down, switch and together one more time on this side i am popping like popcorn <laughs> and tap release and rest for a moment i hope you walk away from this class feeling space all right we'll do the other side fingertips to your shoulders bring your elbows towards each other left elbow up right elbow down switch and slide them back together. Left elbow up, right elbow down. Tap. And last one. Tap and release. Ooh, that last one, my elbows did not want to touch. They were <laughs> attracting away from each other. 
Okay, take another breath in. Exhale out. All right, moving on to the legs, the hips a little bit. So we're gonna start to open up. Now, if you just started taking my chair classes and this is maybe your first, second, third, maybe fourth class, I want you to be a little easy on yourself and not extend your hips out too far. So not a big external rotation, but come up to the top of your chair a little bit. Widen your feet. So I would love for your feet to be a little bit wider than say the legs on your chair. And then turn your toes out. And you might cramp immediately when you do this. If you cramp, just bring your leg back in and then bring it back out. Cramping is okay, but I want you to get out of it. All right, push your feet into the floor strongly. And then there's something that I'll tell you to do. I want you to concrete your feet into the floor, but then try to draw your heels towards each other. So concrete your feet in, they're not gonna move, but slide your heels in. So use the energy that you have in your mind to tell yourself to pull your heels towards each other. Take your hands and place them on top of your thighs or your kneecaps. So you should be activating and using strength to try to pull your heels in. You might even feel like you're drawing your outer knees towards your hips in the same process. Now soften and relax. Let your knees even fall in. Even though you're just sitting there and no one can tell what you're doing, you're doing a lot. Let's try it again. Toes are turned out. Heels are aligned with each other. So imagine a line going between your heels. Let your hands press onto your legs and then isometrically, so pull your heels in towards each other. Squeeze your hips. Feel like your outer knees are drawing in and then stretch from your inner thighs to your inner knees out. Whew. Push and pull. Breathe. Sometimes you'll hold your jaw in the same reaction you're having down in your heels. So smile. And then relax. All right, slide your legs in. So let's work on a little bit of movement, some internal and external rotation. Now you can hold your chair if you need to, but I want you to lift your left foot off the floor and try to slide your leg out to the side, place your foot down. Lift it back up and draw it back forward. It's gonna be work. I'd like for us to do about five, so let's lift. Rotate out, place your foot on the floor, lift up, draw back in. Use your breath, inhale, lift, exhale, release, foot touches the floor. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Lift, open, place your foot on the floor, lift, close, and release, two more, lift, open, down, up, and release, one more. I think that's five, we'll call it five. No major rules here, and release. Notice how your hip feels, doing a lot of external rotation. All right, let's try the other side. Right foot lifts. Extend out to the side, place your foot down, lift back up, bring in and release. Five more. Now your body's just gonna keep doing this. So just notice if you're breathing in and out, you don't have to synchronize it, but just notice a full breath in, exhale out, lift, bring in, release, two more. I love doing this in the chair because when we try to do it on the floor, your knee is on the floor and it can become pretty painful. So we give ourselves the freedom and relax. All right. So we've been working kind of in, up, down, and around, and we're going to just work on some light twists. So we've kept our spine pretty neutral. And now we're going to start to move in a few different directions. I don't want you to pull or yank. 
I don't want you to hurt your lower back. So we'll go gentle. So with your knees in front of you, they should be aligned with your hips. So just separate them a little bit. Take your left hand to your right thigh and just place your hand on your thigh. And then you're gonna bring your right arm back to the chair. So if you've got something you can hold, maybe take your hand or even drape your arm behind the chair. And if you'd like, I'd show you from the side what I'm doing. I'm just gonna bring my arm back. And that's gonna let me release the right shoulder back a little bit as I push my left hand into my thigh. Now, keep your head forward for now. Keep your chin with your collarbones. And then take a breath in. And as you exhale, see if it would feel okay to turn your gaze over your right shoulder. So again, I want you to tone your abdomen. So feel your abdomen like a corset drawing in. Feel your right shoulder blade sliding in towards your spine and just gently press your left hand onto your thigh. Take a breath in and out. Now look forward again, bringing your chin between your collarbones. Take a breath in and then sweep your gaze over your right shoulder. So sometimes even looking more intently will help you twist more intently. Try that again, look forward, inhale. Exhale, gaze over your right shoulder. Come back to center and place your hands on your thighs. So I really wanna encourage you to be careful with this twist. I also want you to notice your breath in the twist. Let's try the other side. Right hand to left thigh, bring your left arm behind your chair. If you can wrap your fingers around the back of the chair, that's great. Just depends on what kind of chair you're in. Now, keep your collarbones and your chin together for now. So don't turn yet. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, start to sweep your gaze over your left shoulder. Bring your left shoulder blade in towards your heart. So draw it in. Use your right hand to gently press onto your left thigh. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, sweep your gaze. Look forward and inhale. Feel that movement in your abdomen as you inhale and then draw your abdomen in and towards the left. Come back to center, place your hands on your legs. Good. Okay. So we did a little bit in and out. We did a little bit of a twist. So now we're gonna do kind of a little choreographed dance kind of thing here. We're gonna move our limbs out a little bit. Some of you do this with me a lot. So walk your thighs up again, give yourself a little bit of space around you. If you need to stay stationary in your chair at all times, say maybe you're in a wheelchair and moving up could cause your wheelchair to move, don't worry about it. Just stay in the back of the chair. It's okay. All right. So right hand, left leg. I want you to reach your right arm up at a diagonal. So not necessarily asking an important question, but come out to the side. And I want you to slide your left leg out. Right arm, left leg. Reach. So I want you to push a gas pedal with your left foot. Spread your fingertips wide. Don't flare your ribs, so feel your ribs drawing in. And just reach. Reach, reach, reach. Like your hand and your foot need to be as far away from each other as possible. You will probably feel this in your inner left thigh. Feel a stretch on your right side. Take a breath in. Exhale, slide in, rest your hands and your legs. Feel the sensation, kind of a sensation at a diagonal line on your body. Now, take your left arm out, don't ask a question, but come out to the side, like you're picking a peach from a tree. 
I was just in Georgia, I think that's why I'm thinking that. And reach your right leg out to the side. So if it feels safe for you, I want you to push a gas pedal. Remember when we did that flex and point with our feet in the beginning? Push a gas pedal and then reach up through your left arm, out through your right leg. That's all you're doing, you're just reaching. But what are you doing in your breath? Are you holding it? Take a breath in and then feel like your breath is moving through the limbs. Feel that, take a breath in. Exhale out through your fingers and toes. Whew. Come back in and relax for a moment. Okay, so I'd like to kind of five, six, seven, eight that and make it a little bit more peppy. So we're gonna move in and out of it. Move my phone out of the way. All right, so we're gonna start with the right arm and the left leg, ready? Reach out, stretch, come back in, switch. Come back in, switch. Come back in, switch. Come back out. And come back out. One more time each side. This is why I should play some really hip music. And come back in. Last one. Try to do everything. <laughs> My legs won't even reach the floor if I try to just reach your limbs out however they go. Reach, reach, reach. Think of a star. You've got your two points, four points, fifth point. Reach, spread everything out, spread your toes, spread your fingers, come back in, squeeze your thighs together and give yourself a hug. Wrap your arms around you, hands on your shoulders. Whoo, that got me breathless. Take a big breath in, exhale out, and a big breath in, exhale out. Release your hands to your legs. All right, last little left and right, because that's kind of been what we've done today, mess with the mind a little bit. We're just gonna, instead of going out to the sides, just come forward. So you could sit back a little bit. It might help you get your leg a little bit straighter if your thighs are on the chair. So you'll just be hinging in your knee joint. Bring your right arm out in front and your left leg. You can just slightly lift your foot. It doesn't have to be straight out. So palm facing in, flex your foot, and then switch. Left arm, right leg. Switch and switch and switch and switch. Woo. How about one more on this side and one more on this side and release. All right. So we worked a lot in the shoulders, the hips, the arms, the legs, the fingers and the toes, but we really didn't do much up in here except for our twist when we turned our head. So we'll work a little bit in the shoulders and neck. So I want you just to peek down, bring your chin towards your collarbones. I like this one because I feel a little bit tight in the back of my neck all the time. So you might feel that little bit of a pull of your skin as you bring your chin towards your chest. Now lift your gaze. And I'd love for you to feel like you have a book on your head. So just pretend like you put a coffee table book on your head and you are lifting that book up towards the sky so that you feel like you are even lengthening the sides and the back of your neck. Shoulders soften, but lift the book up. Now, keep that lift, keep your chin lifted, and I want you to feel like there's a wall right behind your skull, and you're just gonna bring your head towards the wall. So it's almost like you are drawing your chin back slightly, keep it lifted, keep the book lifting, roll your shoulders away from your ears, so feel like they are moving down. Don't push them, but just soften them. Now, keep all of that and look over your right shoulder.
look a little bit deeper with your left eye. Let your left eye do all of the viewing. Come back to center. And just soften for a moment. So just give yourself a break. So I notice when I tell myself to soften, I immediately bring my shoulders forward. I hunch my back and I bring my chin forward. And that's okay. I just want to see what it feels like. And then let's fix it. So draw your shoulders up back and down. Lift the book up from the crown of your head. Keep your chin lifted and then draw your chin back slightly as if the crown or the back of your head, not the crown of your head, the back of your skull is going to touch a wall. Keep all of that. Soften your shoulders, soften your jaw, put a little bit of space between your lips and look over your left shoulder. Look deeper with your right eye. So let your right eye be the one that's more focused and looking. And then come back to center, give yourself a break. Soften, go somewhere between being very rigid, which you were probably listening to every instruction, between that and maybe softening in the front. Keep the lift of your chest, soften your shoulders. Take your hands back to your lap. Feel your feet on the floor and soften your toes, soften the heels and close your eyes if that feels safe for you or you can just take a soft gaze. And I would love for you just to feel your body after a practice. So I have said before, I could have you move your arms in all different directions. I could have you smile, frown. I could have you laugh or growl, do all the things. But it's really just how you feel taking this time to communicate with your body. taking the time to move, maybe just the toes or the fingers or one arm or the other. And taking time to have grace for yourself or maybe a move that didn't work the same way that it worked for me or for you. Take a deep breath in. Let it out through your mouth. Let your breath just naturally move in its own tempo and pace. And I would love for you to feel your skin softening, your muscles floating, the chair will hold you and the earth will hold the chair. Feel space around you. And whether you watch this live or recorded today or tomorrow, next year, I hope you feel connected, similar, and loved. Bring your palms back to your chest, just like we did in the beginning. Take a deep breath in, let it out, and we'll chant on the inhale. Oh. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, I say to you, peace, peace, peace. I thank you so much for joining me. You can always join us live or recorded. Thank you for being here. Have a great day.